Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and an intriguing mathsy puzzle. I've done a few of these lately, but this one is uh, this one is about bases. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to explaining that to you in a way. Now, don't forget that all the normal stuff associated with the channel is available. So you can look below the video for the links to um, our book or our Patreon or the apps or the cracking, uh, creating a cryptic crossword series. Um, they're all available on the links under the video. You can see all sorts of ways to engage with the channel. Discord server, the um, the catalogue of our puzzles and videos, it's all there. And it's, you know, there's a lot of ways to do it and people do get very into it, which is great. Now, I'm going to explain the rules of this puzzle. This came in actually with a solution to uh, a monthly challenge. And Brian Scott said, you might be interested in this puzzle I came up with based on bases. And uh, the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits don't repeat in a cage. Each cage's total is expressed in a base shown in the circle or pill reading left to right in the cage. So this number in this cage is not 21, it's 21. And that is a number expressed in base whatever this is. So if this was a 7, then this number would be two lots of seven and one lot of one is 15. Now, I am not the sort of person who is here to explain mathematical properties to you or, in fact, I had an absolute nightmare when I tried to look up the meaning of Diophantine equations and then explain what I had thought they'd meant before. And basically, I managed to not only misremember what I had understood once about Diophantine equations, but I then also managed to misinterpret what I read as what they meant. And uh, several very kind people had to explain. So my attempt to explain bases is going to be very much based on how I use them. So the way to interpret these numbers, you, you can have any base, basically, from one to infinity. But... The way that you express a number in them is that the units digit, the last digit, so the 5 in this case, is a units digit. You can add 5, but the, the tens digit, the next digit along, is saying multiply this number by the base number. So if the base number here was 7, you'd take 7 lots of... Um, well, sorry, one lot of seven plus five, and you'd get to 12 as the total of that cage. 12 as expressed in base 10. Now, when you then go to the third digit, which would look like a hundreds digit in base 10, that is multiplying by, a, you multiply that by a square of the base number. So here, this could be binary, for instance, base two. And in that case, we'd be adding 1 for the last one, 2 for the second one, and 4 for the first one. That's 2 squared. And you'd get to a total of 7 for the cage in base 2. But it's part of our job to establish what the bases being used are. Some of them are two digits, and some of the numbers are letters. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, this is using... I was going to say hexadecimal, but it could be bigger than hexadecimal. So when you when you exhaust the numbers 1 to 9, the next number you use is A, which represents 10. Then B, C, D are 11, 12, 13, E and F, 14 and 15. And you would all use all those numbers in hex, which is base 16. Um, but we could have bigger bases in this puzzle. So we're just going to have to find out what they are. So... Uh, apologies to mathematicians. Do feel free to add a clearer and more succinct and concise explanation of bases in the comments. You've had mine. Most people who are solving this will understand bases without me needing to tell them anything about them, but there will be one or two who don't, so good luck to you. I hope you've understood the explanation, um, and it'll stand you in good stead doing number puzzles in the future. But... Those are the rules. I'm going to restart the clock and get cracking on this puzzle now. And we're going to see how to solve it, hopefully. 
It's a fascinating idea, and I was tempted to think that these one one ones have to be binary, because as soon as I see one one one, I think, ah, oh, that's the number seven in binary. And it's certainly possible to put a two there and a one four pair there, and this then adds up correctly. But it doesn't have to be base two. It could be base three, and then this would be 13, and they would add up to 10, and that's fine. And it could even be base four, and the total of the cage would be 21, one plus four plus 16. And with a four there, you'd have an eight and a nine here. I think that must be the limit. If with a five there, the cage total would be 31, which is too much for a three cell. So both of these one, 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 three cell cages are base two, three, or four. And that really is the most asinine, simple deduction. Right, here we go. This is a nine cell cage. So I know what it adds up to. It adds up to 45, as I would express it in base 10. Now, let's take away the nine that is the units digit that always represents nine, and we're left with 36, and we have one lot of the base, and it gives us 36, so the base is 36, and we get to fill that in there. So this is not a three. Um, it could still be one four here or eight nine, so I don't know what that is. Um, so this doesn't give me much else. That's annoying. I thought that was going to fill in some of the grid. It didn't really. What is this 15 cage? Well, it's in a base that is higher than base. Yeah, that's quite important. I hadn't thought about that. The base is always higher than the biggest digit used in the in the total. So this must be because otherwise that digit wouldn't be expressed in that way. So if this was in base four, you would never write one five because five isn't a number in base four. Base four only uses zeros, ones, twos, and threes. So, this is in base 7, 8, or 9. Oh, and whatever one... Oh, I see. Oh, that's absolutely obvious, but it took me ages to see it. Whatever digit this is, that represents the 1 in this 1, 5 expression, because that is, make, that is saying 1 times whatever the base is. So that's sitting there. So this digit is the 5 that is the units digit and this 18 cage or 18 cage must work exactly the same the base actually it's even better the base is has to be higher than 8 because of what i just said so that's a 9 we now know this adds up to 17 so that's an 8 but whatever base we'd put in there this would always be an 8 but anyway we've got a 9 there now and an 8 I mean, it's so hard to look at a 23 cage and not think, oh, that's 6, 8, 9. But, I mean, base 10 is impossible. We cannot have put base 10 in any of these digits or pills, circles or pills. Ah, don't know what to do. Oh, hang on. If that was a 4... This would be an 8-9 pair, wouldn't it? And then 8-9 couldn't be in any of these cells. Right, if that was a 4, this would be an 8-9 pair. I don't know if this is going to matter, but it's quite interesting that that would stop those being 8-9, and these are also stopped from being 8-9. Now this 2-4 cage couldn't be in anything higher than base 7, which would require its total to be 18 with a 7 here. Oh, that's quite possible. I thought I might be onto something there. Totally not. I don't know. I don't know how to use these cages. And obviously, we can use bases up to 36, maybe even fractionally higher, but I suppose that can't be more than, like, these can't add up to more than 35. And D is, what number did I say, 13. 
So the highest base possible here is 22. And that, therefore, is a 1 or a 2. What about here? F is 15. Mm, this cage could add up to as much as 42, though. So, well, again, the base couldn't be higher than 27, then. So that's a 1 or a 2 as well. And this really isn't getting us very far. I need to do something slightly better than this at the moment. Now, there must be a 4 in here, because it's either 4, 8, 9, or 2, 1, 4. Ah, and whatever these three digits are, they go in these cells in, the ni in this big old 19, the 9-cell cage. I'm going to just mark that in a way, because... Those three cells see that one, and they see all of those in the same box. But the nine cell cage must have all the digits in, so those three blues are in those three blue cells. I don't know if that does anything. I've just noticed it. Oh, this couldn't have been nine or eight. Anyway, okay, so this cage adds up to... This is either 5, 6, or 7. It has to be higher than 4, which appears in its number. It can't be 9 or 8. So this cage adds up to either... Ah, oh, this might get interesting. Either 18, 16, or 14, which are not very high totals. Those are what the digits add up to. 14, 16, or 18. This cage adds up to... 7, 13, or 21. Oh, well, if this was 13 or 7, plus the maximum here, which is 18, uh, it does just allow that pair to be a 5, 9 pair. I have a feeling we might be able... This can't be 1, 2, 4. It can't be a 7 cage in binary. Because 7 there and the maximum 18 here would be 25. Those two would have to add up to 20 to make up the secret, the total of the cage of 45, the total of the box of 45. Every row, column and box adds up to 45, of course, because they're the digits 1 to 9. Right, so that's not a 2. This is 3 or 4. If it's a 3... These add up to 10. Got 13 here. The only way to do it if it's a 3 is 13 here, 18 here, that's 31. These two add up to 14, but they can't include a 6. So they would be 9 and 5. This would be a 7. That would be a 3. This is the only way it can be a 3. 9573, those would be two even numbers adding up to 10. 8 would have to go there. It does seem to work, and that's incredibly annoying. <laughs> um, look, it feels like I might be able to break through here somehow. So if that came down, if that was a 6, this would add up to 16. Now, I was going to allege that this couldn't be 13 anymore, 29. Actually, it could. That would be a 9-7 pair. These must... That's always odd, and that's always even. So these must add up to an even number for what use that is. Oh, I can't see it. I'm going to have... To... Oh, this was... I said this was a maximum of 35. Was that the only way this could be a, a 21R? I might be able to make this a 1. If that was a 2... Yeah, the... 21 plus 13 is 34. And you can't, not, 34 is 98764. This box can't be 34. 
So it adds up to less than that. So that is not a 2. OK, that's a 1. Now the most the box can add up to is 31, which would be 13 plus 18. This cage has to add up to more than 13 because of the D. So, or it has to, sorry, it has to represent a base that is more than 13. So that is 4, 6, 7, or 8, but I don't know that I can go beyond that. 27 would be 1 and 4 and 22 there. If that's a 6, then we're adding 29. Oh, so it's always 22 in these cells. Yes, this cell acts like, again, the 1 in the, in the clue represents one lot of 10 plus that. So if you deduct that out, then 13 plus 10, these add up to 23. I see. Wow, that's probably very simple algebra. I couldn't do it. So those three add up to 22. OK, they include a 9. I know that. If they were 5, 8, 9, the 5 would be there and 8, 9 would be there. Otherwise, they're 9, 7, 6. And that's a bit less appealing. Twenty one. If that's a nine. Oh, if that's a nine, you can only just do this twenty one cage. If it's an eight, you can't do it at all. This is a nine. This this is a given digit straight away. Ah, I had not seen this. Okay, this two one. Let's imagine this is anything up to 8, the base here. Then this number, 21, represents 2 8s plus 1 is 17. And you've got an 8 there to represent the base. These four digits would have to add up to 9, and four digits cannot add up to 9. And if you make this any smaller, you reduce that by 1 every time. 15, yeah, so that is a 9. And the, oops, 9. And these are 1, 2, 3, 4. We've got some restrictions on those. This might have been very, very important and easy. Um, four can't be there. Oh, if this is one, two, four in a binary cage, that's definitely three. That would be very helpful. Oh, and it can't be four, eight, nine now in a in a base four cage. So it is exactly that. Two with a one, four pair. That is a 3. That's not. So we've got a 2-4 pair there. We get a 1 here. That's not a 4. We've got this 9, which stops the 9 in this 22 sum being in that cell. One of those now is definitely a 9. 9, 3, 1, 4, 2. We've got 5, 6, 7, and 8 to place in the column. Now, 2, 1, 4 here means 2, 1, and 4 appear in those cells. This can't... Oh, no, we've ruled out the 1, 2, 4 cage already. These are 5, 7, or 8. And 6 is in one of those two cells. Just mark that with a corner mark. So that can't be 6. 1, 4, 2, 3, 6. Um, this can't be 6 because there's already a 6 in the cage and these are all from five seven eight nine and that is a quadruple five seven eight nine quad with a six there hmm this is from one two three four and three is in one of these two cells now if that's a four this is eight nine that could work if that's a three if that's a three these add up to 10. Ah, these are not going to add up to 14 now. Right, if this was a 3, this adds up to 13. At the maximum, this cage adds up to 18. So that's 31 at the maximum. So the minimum for these two cells, if this was a 3, is 14. And the maximum they can actually add up to is 12. So that's a 4. This is an 8-9 pair. So there are two 1-1 one, one cages are totally different. They're at the extremes. Right, 8, 9 comes out of those cells. 
five, seven comes out of those. We've got an eight, nine pair there. We get a five, seven pair up here in box one. Six, eight pair looking across at that cell. Eight, nine. So these can't contain an eight. This is now a five, seven, six triple, weirdly. I'll take it any way it comes. Um, four in this column. Oh yes, that four is looking up at that cell. Um, these can't be two. In fact, they can't be four either. So one goes there, three goes there. These are in the same cage, can't have a one in. Um, eight, nine, this is a two. Right, so this cage adds up to five. If this was a five, I'm going to have to do them one by one. I can't do this any other way. If this was a five, the cage adds up to 14. That would have to be a four. Not possible. If this is a six, the cage adds up to 16, and that's a five. If this is a seven, the cage adds up to 18, and that's a six. Yes, okay, so it's not a seven. Oh, and that's a kind of chocolate teapot triple. <coughs> wow, that's quite big progress though from where we were a moment ago. Not unhappy with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, these add up to 22. They have to. There's a nine in one of those. Are they. If they were 5, 8, 9, that's a 5, that's 8, 9. This is allowed to be 6 or 7. If they're 9, 7, 6, this has to be an 8. That doesn't really resolve anything. Ah, I've got a 1 looking at that. Right. Uh, this is a 2. So this base is 20-something. One of those, 24, 5, 6, 7, or 9, plus the 6 no, 15 that F represents, I often get that wrong, is somewhere between 39 and 44 for the cage total. Ah, the cage total is only seven cells. Its maximum, well, its maximum is 42 if you use 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, but we're not. We're definitely using a 2, so its maximum fill is 41. And I think that rules 9 and 7 out of here. 27 plus 15 is 42. Yes. So we're down to 6, 5, or 4. And the cage total is 39, 40, or 41. Oh, there's got to be an 8 in it. And we can see from that 8, not in those cells. So let's stick the 8 there. There's got to be an 8 in it, because whether it's... 39, 40, or 41, the two numbers missing only add up to 6, 5, or 4. They, they aren't missing an 8. So that's an 8 by Sudoku. And therefore this is 22 made up without an 8, made up of 9, 7, and 6. So that's a 2, 3 pair. Oh no, look, I've got 2 and 4 there. So 3, 2, 5, 4, that fixes 7, 5. This is not 7 anymore. This is not 4 or 5. Bingo. 6, 9, 7, 6. Right. We've got a 3, 5, 7 triple. We know exactly what this cage adds up to now. I'm just going to have to work it out again. 26 plus 15. 41. It's missing 3 and 1. So in this column, these four digits are 3 and 1 and those two. So 1, 2, 3 go in here. That's not 2, that's not 1. Oh look, that 4 has fixed the 2, 4 pair, so we get the 2. Can't deal with the 1, 3 yet. 8, 2, 1, 3, 6. These are from 4, 5, 7, 9. That's not a 9. Now, I've still got these little L-shaped cages to go. This is a very nice puzzle. I like the way this works. I don't think I've been very good at it, but I like the way it works. Um, of course, I say that as I get stuck. 
but that's fine. Oh look, two. I can place two in this box and then the last two in the grid goes there. And I can do four in this box as well. Uh, that doesn't ramify quite so well, but I've got a 136 triple down here. That one at the bottom can't be three. That can't be one. The 136 triple makes this a seven. That fixes my triple down there. Let's just check this total. 10, 16, and the base 6 means it should be 16. Good. Just want to make sure I haven't suddenly fouled up the calculations. 6 there makes this a 1. 5 and 4 can go in the bottom row. I can actually remove all those blues because they've done their job. That's an 8, 9 pair. This is 3, 6, 7. This is 1, 8, 9. Um, four, eight, nine, two. That, oh, look, deadly pattern, but it's going to get fixed by this 24 cage. So let's have a look at that now. If this was a seven, the cage adds up to 18 with a seven in it. These two would have to add up to 11. That's impossible. If it's a six, the cage adds up to 16. These add up to 10. That is possible. If it's a 3, the cage just adds up to 10, and these add up to 7. That's not possible. So the middle digit was right, 6 there. These add up to 10. They are 1 and 9. That looks very helpful. This is 8. That's fixed 8, 9 over there. No deadly pattern for us. Um, that's become a 3 with a 1 below. How come they're not done? Something else has been done here. Three, six, five, two. Yes, that for ages. No, I've only just written that in as a seven, three pair. Okay, that's fine. Those can't be seven. So I've got an eight, nine pair and a four. So there was always only one place for one in that row. Well done if you spotted it that way. That four makes that a nine. Now I've got a five, seven pair in this row. I've just got one and six to place in it. That is five or seven because it sees four, two, three, a one, six pair and eight, nine in the column. So we've got a five, seven pair in this box and an eight, nine pair. That is going to be very useful. Let's just do the Sudoku first and then I'll come back to the base calculations. Well, that's three, five, or six. Okay, let's have a look at this now. So if that's base eight, this adds up to 19. Those two would have to add up to 11, which they can do, six, five. If that's a nine, then the cage adds up to nine times two plus three, 21. These would have to add up to 12, and they can't do that. They can't both be sixes, so eight is right there. This is a six and a five, we know the order. And now we're gonna finish the puzzle. Three there. Six, seven pair, everything's pencil marked. There's no more. Oh, there is one more thing to do in the cages. Look, I've got a seven in this cage. So that one is a five. I suspect that's absolutely necessary to finish off. But that's very neat, actually. Seven, five, three, one, four, one, six, seven and six. And then we come down to these eight nines, eight, nine, eight nine and there we go base cage is done and dusted and very pleasant they were too that's a really nice idea brian and very well executed if i can say so i mean i don't know if that requires math knowledge that not everybody's going to have but i loved it i i really did i liked that a lot thanks for sending that um and i hope everybody has a great day see you tomorrow Bye for now.